Good morning everyone. Today's webinar is about guarantee and warranty in management system by our expert Mr. Ajay Bajpai who is global IMS lead auditor trainer with over 35 years of experience. So I request him now to start the webinar. So thank you very much uh, for uh, warmly welcoming you on this day of Saturday which is normally a non-working day for many MNCs. But we auditors and trainers keep on working you know, 24 hours because we are a having a global setup and global set of auditors. So whatever webinars we conduct is a requirement, result, output and demand from our global team of clients, global team of auditors, global team of trainers and consultants because they keep on having queries and they keep on asking a lot of questions. So we pick up a topic which is of interest and where more clarity is required. So today I am here on behalf of TNV Academy for a subject which is called guarantee and warranty. Of course, we are into management certification. So whatever we normally discuss is having its inclination or link to management system. Management systems are starting from 9001 and they very widely go up to 50,000 and onwards. But we are so far dealing to that standard. So we talk of 9001 to 50,000. So, which is energy management system. So, let's have good energy at the end of the week and start with the concepts and needs of customers. See, guarantee and warranty globally. Let me make a statement which is called disclaimer clause. In this particular presentation, I am not claiming, we are not claiming any difference or uh, correct definitions of guarantee and warranty because globally, for many, many decades, this terminology is being discussed and still being debated what is guarantee, what is warranty, how the differentiation is there. So different uh, entities, different, uh, you know, authorities have got some different various opinions on this. So I am only going to discuss some concepts which are related to our management system certification and maybe of use to our customers at large and maybe the trainers and consultants who are into management system certification. So first of all, the concepts. See, guarantee and warranty of a product or service is the one which we all understand. Uh, a seller will give you a guarantee or he will give you a warranty. But when we look at it, it gets related to complaints. If a product purchased today or for service today, for example, I install an air conditioner in my office cabin today and it does not function. So naturally, I have to make a complaint. So that complaint to the Deccan or Voltas or any other company, LG for that matter, will be covered under guarantee and warranty schemes. Okay. So this is what we need to understand. Then satisfaction level. These organizations who come to us for providing services for maybe internet services, Geo or Airtel or other VSET and so on, they ask us for their satisfaction feedback. We as a certification body training organization look at satisfaction level of customers. If that again goes down, if it's not happening correctly in the positive direction, again it boils down to the guarantee and warranty terms and conditions. Rework. If a serviceman from LG is coming back to my office again to do some reworking in the operation of the air conditioner of mine where the temperature control is not working effective or remote is not working, so he replaces it or sometimes the entire piece gets rejected. All that falling in line with the guarantee and warranty schemes, which are there into various management system clauses, starting from context of organization to the continual improvement clause of management system standards. If you try to look at definition of guarantee, guarantee serves as a promise, means the service provider or the product manufacturer makes a promise to the buyer, if I am the buyer of the air conditioner, as I said, that in case the product is below quality, below quality means what? They have said that into peak summers, their Voltas AC will give me good cooling at 16 degrees centigrade. So that is what is their promise for me. Then they say, if it does not happen, it will be repaired. Their service team will come, they will repair the air conditioner, they will repair the remote, they will repair the windows, they will repair the filter, they will remove the, you know, set-top box or whatever, the voltage control system or 
they will replace it or the money deposited will be refunded i have paid 45000 for the air condition of 1.5 ton of the lg if it is not at all working correctly as per their promise my money will be refunded and i may go on and select another company ac so that's what is the definition of guarantee now let's look at the definition of warranty terms looks very similar but there are minor minor differences here and there which the globe is having a debate today warranty is a written assurance now here it was a promise you can see the difference and try to debate more in time to come but warranty is a written assurance somebody the manufacturer or the service provider is giving us a written assurance that the facts is specified in the product as i said that air condition is to give cooling in peak summer season but it has not given that kind of a performance so against his written assurance that product is true and genuine they will say yes it is a genuine product it is a genuine project from deccan but if it is not happening so it will be repaired or replaced so here in this case they are giving a written assurance that is the definition of warranty okay so if concept is clear we can go on and understand what more is there into warranty and warranty importance of warranty in customer transaction there are various kind of guarantees are there product guarantee service guarantee there are financial guarantees there are consumable guarantees for example we are having a, a dg set so that has got lot of consumables also because other machines which are supplied to us for example entire air conditioning system in a hotel it may have lot of consumables dg set may have lot of consumables compressor will have lot of consumables maybe the wires cables the oils the filter and so on then explanation of product guarantee when we are a buyer we need to understand that the supplier of the product or service is explaining us right we as a customer many time go just buy something just buy the lowest price that is what is happening into the market but at times these things we are not looking into carefully and we get into problems later on how product guarantee benefit customer see it is ultimately for the benefits of the customer if customer is active alert and knowledgeable customer he will get the benefit out of the guarantees provided by the manufacturer or the service provider as i said there are service guarantees also as i explained servicing of a laptop servicing of air conditioning system servicing of diesel generator servicing of internet services or servicing of a entire layout done by the plant by a architectural company so all this needs to be explained and ultimate aim is what enhance customer satisfaction if i am satisfied with the warranty guarantee conditions of the deccan or lg i will give them customers a satisfied customers normally as per the management principle brings eight more customers so i will be a indirect salesman of lg if i am satisfied with the warranty and guarantee conditions then there are financial guarantees we keep on hearing lot of things like bank guarantee performance guarantees those who are dealing with us they understand it in details but today my idea is only to give you a overview if demand comes we can go into more details of what are the financial guarantees and warranties for that matter there are legal aspects of the guarantees ultimately <coughs> we hear a lot of court cases going on with respect to guarantees conditions not being met with the manufacturer or by the service provider so a client has got an authority he has got rights and responsibilities of the guarantee holders that they need to enforce the guarantee and warranty so they can go and approach the law and their demands will be met in national or international court whatever the case may be we as an international organization will keep on having this kind of practical cases and we know what happens which can be discussed sometime later guarantee and warranty what are the key points guarantee looks at commitment it is a commitment of the manufacturer or the service provider as i showed in the first slide he is going to make a promise <coughs> so promise means what he is making a commitment for his products and services whereas if you look at warranty 
it is an assurance as we also see so in the first slide so warranty gives an assurance that his product or service will meet the requirement as he has given to his written commitment okay how warranty and guarantee complement each other i mean they can be treated as two sides of a coin uh, technically or financially but we have to deal with them separately as per the conditions faced by the customer with respect to process and product and what has been guaranteed and what has been warranted by them as a supplier what are the benefits of the guarantee benefits to the consumers if it is an alert consumer he will understand so naturally he will get benefited his business gets benefited we were into a company recently where we were doing the you know audit of a instrumentation area they purchased a lot of instruments and we could raise a non conformity there it was related to guarantee and warranty they have not understood it properly and they had a business loss directly generated from their purchasing department because they have not been able to deal with the suppliers and manufacturers appropriately so they had a loss if they have followed the principles and understood the themes it could have been benefited them building trust through warranties a trust is created between the supplier of product and services to the end user of the product and services through guarantees being provided for the products and services and they become a permanent customer and then do they do marketing for those products and services they keep on referring other clients for that product and service how to make guarantee claim that needs to be understood when you are buying a product or a service there are terms and conditions written one need to understand them and there are guidance as consumer we are not maybe sometimes not that aware which we feel into training and auditing at times if we become aware then we will be able to make guarantee claims and we will get benefited it will help our business what are the steps to follow when you need to make a guarantee claim i have seen people make claims without following the steps they will just start making calls and here and there they will start sending mails here and there that does not help every product and service which has been supplied to me as a customer has got a guarantee warranty card which specifies the numbers of the customer care and steps to follow when the product is failing to meet the requirement as promised and as assured so if they follow those steps they will get proper warranty guarantee claims otherwise they will waste energy and they don't get what they desire documenting your claim again it is linked to this documentation of your claim is very important you cannot just be saying i have made 10 calls i keep on hearing lot of call being made by my trainers my friends my staff and all they are just making wasteless calls wasting their energy that is not the right way if you document your claim if you document your problems then you get a satisfactory level of claim settlement done somebody will say i have made 10 calls 10 calls 50 mails that does not make sense technically if you if you look at management system and if you as an organization have um, documented well your guarantee and warranty handling policy and claiming policy if you are a large buyer and supplier of instruments equipmentation and you are further into a supply chain activity then you you need to understand the concept of guarantee and warranty very clearly so that it benefits your business and you are able to document it appropriately and your claim claim settlement is done as per your expectations and you don't waste energy unnecessarily common misconception about guarantee there are various misunderstanding misconceptions you know so that need to understand adequately when you are going to have a buy or purchase of services and products so we will try to address the mis and misunderstanding which i have done so far into last eight slides so we should not be going by the talks in airs you know the feelings and feedback coming from left right sides don't get into unwanted discussion look into your product look into your processes understand i can give you very clear example of my old you know 25 years back there used to be you know the, the intercom systems were there i was working in a factory as a manager engineering 
where my presiders, my old manager engineering teams have tried to install the intercom system into the company. But three companies have come, they have failed. My MD called me and I said, Mr. Ajay, we are having a large setup now. Our strength is increasing, our departments are increasing. So we want to have a setup where 50 plus intercom system can be installed into the company and it works. We have tried three times, but we have failed. So this was a myth and this was a misunderstanding by the entire team. I, along with my team, took the challenge and we have installed finally in two years a system which has 100, you know, telephones connected into 68 departments because we have gone into the depths and understood the system of intercom properly and we have not rejected the company unnecessarily and we have become a successful user because we have not gone into the myths and misunderstanding. We have gone into the marketing department, technical department. We had a set of meetings with the suppliers and we have understood all this and we have successfully run those systems for next five years till the technology change. So that is a good example which I myself with my team has implemented. We always encourage customer to be informed and assert their rights. It is very important to assert your rights as a consumer. There are so many forums available today, but we don't encourage customers to go to forum straight away. Let them follow the steps as I said into the last slide and we encourage the consumers to understand the concepts. Don't go into misconceptions. Don't just talk here and there with the neighbors, with the friends, with other technical teams, with other uh, CB team, training teams and so on. But with what they understand, please use, use your own intelligence with respect to what products and service you are going to have a manufacturer or supplier and where in the supply chain you fall. And then you assert your rights correctly by using your intelligent this thing by following the management principle PDCA and so on and become knowledgeable and intelligent customer and then you will achieve what you are aiming to achieve effectively intelligently. See one of the biggest problems as in relation to the last slide we need to understand the guarantee terms. The first point when we are going to buy or we are going to take a decision on to the buying of a product. We need to understand which company, which group company, it is MNC who is supplying systems, it is MNC who is supplying, you know, as the machines and equipment. What are their warranty and guarantee come? Let me tell you another example. I was in Malaysia a couple of years back. Few of my friends when I was visiting there, they said, sir, we want to get some very good photography and videography system and some high end laptop from there which are available there. When I went into their market and I have done some survey in the evening when I was free from the audit and training, I have understood that these services and warranty guarantee terms, I will be finding difficulties. In fact, my friends will be finding difficulties in the implementation of these claims in Indian market. Those they were not clear on to terms and conditions. So I could buy only one product. I was supposed to buy some eight, 10 products because those terms and conditions were not suiting the Indian market service providing from those manufacturers and suppliers. So it needs to be understood very clearly. So don't get a jumping into the low pricing, high end market, big claims of the companies. Use the intelligent methods as I have tried to explain in last nine slides. Understand these terms and conditions. Do they suit you? Do they suit your office? Do they suit your TNB group of companies, office and other associate offices? Does it suit our Bombay office? Because we are buying something which ultimately be installed as a chain reaction into Mumbai office also. No, it may not suit. Understand what is typically covered in a guarantee. Please understand it. What is usually excluded from a guarantee? Listen to the salesman very carefully. There are few actions, activity, applicability of spare accessories, which is not applicable for the buy of that product and service. It is excluded. So please understand and don't try to unnecessarily, you know, uh, call with bad names to the supplier and unnecessarily abuse him. 
because you have not understood it properly, it is not his fault. So as a customer, we need to understand very clearly. Reading the fine print. Normally, guarantee, warranty cards are very, very small. Words and lines are very, very small. You know, we need to sometimes use the lens to read those lines. No problem, use a lens. Magnify the, the write-ups in the warranty, guarantee card. Read it through properly. Before you make the final payment, you may you may have a situation you are making uh, in stagger payment 10% now 20% later 50% on installation and rest 10% later but there are terms and conditions written into the fine print of warranty and warranty card read through that if you cannot read if you are old age person your eyes are do not working ask the salesperson to read it for your benefit because ultimately it is your money you are going to pay for the product and service so get the maximum benefit of that buy and purchase of products and services. It is in your interest. Every one paisa earning requires a lot of burning of the blood and uh, you know sweating. So please understand that. Use that money effectively. So these were the situations which I thought I will discuss. And now we are, I am conducting this training on behalf of TNV Academy. These are the various links and website. And this webinar and all other webinars are very much available on our these website and links. You can go through them and learn as much as possible. As the theme says, learning without limit. There is no learning in the limits. Okay. Today itself, I have uh, you know shared few things based on cleanliness drive into India and maybe globally based on the theme of our birthday coming of whom. Uh, the Bapuji, Mahatma Gandhi, there have been several world leaders. We have respect for all world leaders like Atatürk of Turkey, like the hero of Taiwan. I have been to all these situation and I have seen how much they are respected into their country. So we respect everybody globally. And so in the interest of customers, we need to understand the guarantee and warranty terms, which are definitely all the time linked to the management system with respect to the complaint, satisfaction level, rework, rejection, and so on. If you try to link it with other standards, what will happen? Uh, the, uh, the pollution control, the smoke control, the exhaust control, the CCPs, which are controlling the HACCP plants, the rejection level, pest control. We go to the HERA accident control. So everything gets linked together, and ultimately it is a business for all of us and if we need to succeed in business our customer satisfaction is very very important so this is what i thought i will discuss with you i'll just slide through the this thing if you have if you may have any question into this now or later when you are looking and viewing through our website and youtube channels and tnv academy some first more question definitely will come and you can ask us, you can send an email to us, you can go to our website, send emails, and we'll be happy to clarify more. And based upon your feedbacks, only we conduct the new webinars. And our aim is to see that the global improvement, global development is taking in the management system certification and any other system certification. So thank you very much. We'll meet in other next webinar very soon. If you have any questions, you can ask. Thank you. I thank you all on behalf of TNV Academy. We appreciate you being here. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll see you next time.